Hello everybody, it is Melissa McAllister, also known as Melissa Maid on Instagram. I am a functional nutrition counselor and also a nutritional therapy practitioner. And I wanted to talk to you really fast, just kind of debunk two myths that uh, people have been fed for the years when it comes to meal timing or time restrictive feeding and your metabolism. So I'm just gonna go over two really quick. And the first one, which you're probably like, I hear this all the time, <laughs> is that you have to eat breakfast. So keep in mind that whenever I give advice on this, if you function best by waking up in the morning and having something to eat, by all means do that. But maybe you're like me and I have never woken up and been hungry ever, ever, ever. <laughs> For over 25 years, I haven't woken up and been hungry. And that's okay as well. So there's actually benefits to waiting to eat breakfast and not having it right when you wake up. If you look at uh, some of the research from Dr. Lippman and Dr. Panda, they actually say that it's better to wait bare minimum at least an hour after waking up before you eat. Now that's just for health reasons. That's got nothing to do with fasting. So you don't have to be an intermittent faster to be told to who, no matter who you are, <laughs> it is best for you to wait at least an hour after you wake up. You could wait longer. Um, I, I'm, I have this thing called the 11-7 rule. So I usually eat between 11 and seven and I sleep from 11 to seven. So I want you to keep in mind when you wake up, your growth hormone is nice and high because it's indirect with insulin. So insulin is really low when you wake up and your growth hormone is really high. I don't know about you, I'm in my 40s and I want to continue to take advantage of human growth hormone. That is our fountain of youth. So the minute that we eat, especially carbohydrate rich foods, the insulin goes up and the human growth hormone goes down. So I exercise fasted on an empty stomach because of that higher human growth hormone that's beneficial and exercise also raises your human growth hormone. So you've got just this wonderful time in the morning if you don't eat and you exercise fasted to have your human growth hormone nice and high, which will do so many great things for making you look and feel young. So the second one is um, I get common as well because I will work out and I don't eat immediately after I work out either because uh, my growth hormone is high. Um, I'm just, I know I'm in a great state of fat burn, so I'm never in a huge rush to eat afterwards. Granted, I do eat within a few hours, but not like right afterwards. But a lot of people fear that because if they don't eat, you know, the what the supplement companies tell you to have, you know, protein and carbohydrates within 30 or 45 minutes of your workout, that, that window, <sighs> there's really not a lot of science to back that you have um, plenty of time to eat afterwards. Now I will tell you in the research that I found, uh, you do want to kind of push, if you're working on muscle growth, you want to eat within three hours of your workout, but definitely not within 30 minutes. And people think, well, if I don't eat right afterwards, my body is gonna start to cannibalize. It's gonna start to eat its own muscle for fuel. And I just want you to think common sense for one second, okay? How long does it take you to put on a little extra fat? <laughs> I swear it can happen in one day, <laughs> definitely in one weekend or one vacation. But how long does it take you to put muscle on? That takes months to put muscle on. So when your body is looking for an alternate fuel, you know, you haven't eaten, so you have no fuel in your digestive system and it's looking for an alternative fuel, what do you think it's gonna go for? Do you think it's going to go for that hard to burn muscle? or is it gonna to go to the easily stored fat, which is put there for the reason of being fuel. So I don't want you to panic about that. Your body takes, you know, you don't get empty until anywhere from eight to 12 hours, depending on what you're eating and how, you know, bioavailable it is for the body. Eight to 12 hours before you actually start fasting. So you've got food in your system for eight to 12 hours after your last bite of food. And by all means, you have, you know, fuel still in your stomach three to four hours after you've eaten. So the misnomer that you need to eat, you know, small mini meals every couple of hours and that you need to eat something right after your workout so that you don't cannibalize your muscles is a hundred percent myth. You do what's best for you. If you want to eat right after your workout, great. If you want to eat smaller meals because it works better for you, great but I'm here to tell you, you do what works best for you. And if you're not hungry after your, your workout, 
and you're not, you know, you want to get home and take a shower first, you're fine. And if you're too busy to sit there and try to eat five to six mini meals a day, you don't have to do that either. I hope this was helpful.